Hello friends, this video binomial theorem part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, you should have watched binomial theorem part 1 to part 10. So here is a problem where it says that second, third and fourth term of this binomial expression this are this, this and this. That is 240, 720, 1080. So we have to find the value of x, a and n. So it says t2 is equal to 240, t3 is equal to 720 and t4 is equal to 1080. Not t2 exactly, the coefficient of no, the whole term, the whole term is equal to this. So it says t2 is equal to 240, t3 is equal to this and t4 is equal to this. So we can also say t2 we can say right t2 is equal to we can say t1 plus 1 so we know the formula tr plus 1 is equal to ncr right and then we say a to the power r and x to the power n minus r so here t1 plus 1 is equal to n is what n n c r is 1 a is a r is 1 a to the power 1 into x to the power n minus 1 and this guy is equal to 240 this is first equation similarly we can say here t2 plus 1 is equal to n c 2 a to the power 2 x to the power n minus 2 is equal to 7 to t. This is my second equation. Also I can say t4 I can say t3 plus 1 and this is equal to n c3 a q x to the power n minus 3 is equal to 1 0 8 0. So what I have done I have formed three equations t2 is equal to 240 so I can say t2 is equal to t1 plus 1 r plus 1. So replacing with the formula I got n c1 a x to the power n minus 1 is equal to 40, n c2 a square x to the power n minus 2 is equal to 720, and n c3 a cube x to the power n minus 3 is equal to 1080. Now let's divide these two equations, these two equations, divide this by this. So I get 720 by 240 because from here we have to find a, x, and n. n, x, and a are three variables, we have got three equations, we have to solve it now, simple. So we'll divide this by this. This by this is equal to actually n c2 a square x to the power n minus 2 divided by n c1 a x to the power n minus 1. Correct? So if you divide this or 240 by 720 equal to 6 is equal to n c2 we can say n permutation by n minus 2 permutation into 2 factorial and n c1 we can say n factorial n minus 1 factorial in the factorial and a square by a is equal to a and x to the power n minus 2 by n minus 1 is equal to x so this is what we got to solve it further n squares n squares n factorial n factorial gone n minus 2 factorial and this is n minus 6 factorial so we can also say 6 is equal to n minus 1 factorial i can say n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial i can say and this is n minus 2 factorial and 2 factorial i can say 2 into 1 and this is a by x so n minus 2 factorial i can cancel Or what I get 6 by x is equal to a into n minus 1. This is my equation 4. 6 by x is equal to a into n minus 1. Now similarly, what we can do? We can divide these two, these two equations. So if you divide these two equations, let me divide these two. So what I'll get is 1080 
divide by 720 this guy is equal to nc3 a to the power 3 x to the power n minus 3 divide by nc2 a to the power 2 x to the power n minus 2 this is equal to n factorial n minus 3 factorial n 3 factorial and this is equal to nc2 is equal to n factorial by n minus 2 factorial and here 2 factorial and a is cube by a square is equal to a and this becomes x so a this becomes x or if you cancel this you divide this by 6 6 6 uh, 36 6 12 uh, 72 and 6 1 the 6 48 8 6 uh, 48 and if you divide further you get uh, 6 you get 9 this becomes and this becomes 2 this becomes 3 3 by 2 and so also we can say 3 by 2 is equal to n factorial n factorial we can cancel and n minus 2 factorial I can say is equal to n minus 2 into n minus 3 factorial and 2 factorial I can say 2 into 1 similarly n minus 3 factorial I can write as it is because this is n minus 3 factorial and 3 factorial I can say 3 into 2 into 1 so I can cancel n minus 2 factorial and 2 and 2 also can cancel I get n minus 2 by 3 into a by x here also a by x or what I get is final equation this comes here so what I get is a by x is equal to this I am taking here 3 into 3 it goes up 9 by 2 into this is there so this also comes here by n minus 2 this is my fifth equation a by x is equal to 9 by 2 by n minus 2 now if you divide this 5 with the fourth equation the fourth equation we have got was a by is equal to 6 by n minus 1 this was the equation we have got so if we equate this to what we get is this was the fourth equation we have got in the last file this is the fifth equation if we equate this 8 by 6 what we get 9 by 2 into n minus 2 is equal to 6 by n minus 1 so now if we multiply this we get 9n minus 9 is equal to 12n minus 6 into 12 12 into 2 24 or we get 3n is equal to 24 minus 9 equal to 50 or n is equal to 5 so we have got n is equal to 5 now this is answer now you have to find the value of a n x so in the first equation we have got what we have got 240 is equal to x to the power 4 into a fourth equation this is, this is what we got from the first equation and from the fourth equation this equation when you put n is equal to 5 what you get is 6 is equal to a by x into 4 so now if you solve both these, these two equations a by x into 4 and this this equation so what I get is x is equal to 2 and a is equal to 3 because we have two equations we have two equations this equation we got from here n is equal to 4 we put so we get a by x is equal to 6 by uh, 4 a by x equal to 6 by 4 and uh, here we also we have 240 is equal to x to power 4 into a so here a you can say is equal to 3 by 2x so we put this we get or again I can show you like this 
So 240 is equal to x to the power 4 into a. a I can say is 3 by 2x. 3 by 2x. So we will multiply this and divide this. So we get 240 into 2 by 3 is equal to x to the power 5. This will become 8, 80 is equal to 160 is equal to x to the power 5. Sorry, there was a mistake here. So in the first equation we have got 240 is equal to n x to the power 4. So here n is equal to 5. 5 x to the power 4. Because here in the first equation you see, I will write the first equation is equal to 240 is equal to t2 is equal to n c1 into x to the power n minus 1 into a to the power 1. So n c1 is equal to 5 c1 is equal to 5 x to the power n minus 1 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 and a. So here you have 5 also. So this is by 5. So this is 16. So x to the power 5 is equal to 32. So x is equal to so x is equal to 2. So if you put x is equal to 2 in this equation also, 6 is equal to a by 2 into 4 or a is equal to what you get? 12 by 4 is equal to 3. Thus we have a is equal to 3, x is equal to 2 and n is equal to 5. This is the answer. Let's see what, what we have done once again. So we have t2, t3, t4 is equal to 48, 720, 1080. So we have expanded this, uh, we have found the t2, t2 is equal to nc1 a x to the power n minus 1, t3 is equal to nc2 a square x n minus 2 and t4 is equal to nc3 a cube x n minus 3 and then we have divided these two equations to get one equation and divided equation 2 by 3 to get one equation. So we have got equation this, uh, this has 5 and this has equation 4. Now solving this 4 and 5, we got n is equal to 5. So we have now got one value n is equal to 5. So we have used equation 1 and equation 4 to again solve and get the value of a and x because we already have the value of n is equal to 5. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study material, study from the best tutor and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.